It's time for the June plan with me, and our folklore theme this month is the tragically beautiful swan. I'll be walking you through a simple yet striking cover page, a monthly calendar page, a brain dump, and lots more, so let's get started. Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and it's time for the June plan with me. My 2023 journal theme is folklore and folk art, I guess. We've been drawing lots of animals and florals and all kinds of stuff. And our folklore theme for this month is the swan. The graceful swan is a beautiful and sometimes tragic symbol in folklore and mythology. And our cover page is going to be strikingly simple yet beautiful so don't fear this one start by working out a little uh, rounded rectangle in the center of the page and then to draw the swan start with the head you do a big s curve for that neck and then kind of work out the shape of the body you're just doing a line right across the bottom of the body because of course she's in the water and when you're happy with the form of the swan you can sketch in a few little lily pads and lotuses or water lilies just a reminder to all my supporters on Patreon, you can print this month's cover page as usual. It's available over at patreon.com slash Shada Campbell. So grab it after today's video. We're going to frame our swan illustration with some long wispy willow branches. There is a lake near my home. It's just one block away and every summer there's lots of swans on it and there's also willow trees. So I guess I'm a little bit inspired by my neighborhood for this cover page. Um, I got rid of all my pencil marks. All you need for the final cover is a fine liner, a white gel pen and one alcohol based marker. I mean, you could use any marker. I just find the alcohol based markers are very good for not leaving streaks. So when you want to use one marker for all of the background color, the alcohol based markers are the ones to reach for, but any brush pen will do. You're going to use that dual tip. I'm using the bullet tip to outline everything like the swan and the lilies. And then I'm using the larger chisel tip to do that big swath of gray for the background. And this would also look good done with blue or teal, like a really pretty light aqua. Really any color goes, but you can't go wrong with gray. And you'll also notice that my marker, this is actually its last day, it is dying. So my backdrop came out looking a little funny because I ran out of ink basically, but it's still gonna work. It's gonna be just fine. And then you'll take a fine liner, something like the Mulatto black liners and go over your entire contour drawing, adding some small horizontal lines to indicate the water. Finally, we'll sketch in those long wispy willow branches and you want to make them a little longer on the left and a little shorter on the right. That will help with the look of depth within your piece. Add a little bit of color to the lotuses if you like. And I also use the bullet tip on that gray marker to put some shading on the swan. Just a few lines on the neck and under the wing. The final step here is to take that white gel pen and color in some of those wispy willow branches. You don't have to get all of them, just add a little white highlight to a few. And then you're pretty much done. I did take my gray brush pen and I did a little more gray on the water. I added the June month title in the center below. And as I said, this is a cover page that is beautiful in its simplicity. This is the type of thing you can get done in 20, 30 minutes, keep it small within the center of the page, and it's just gonna look so lovely. Let's flip over. I did use alcohol-based markers, so they bled through the page a little bit. I'm gonna take a bit of ripped paper and just do a little quote page here, and then I'll have my monthly calendar on the right. I use floral washi tape with that ripped pink paper, and then I'm drawing my favorite little wax flower. And you do this by doing a thin line for the first petal, draw the center, and then three more normal size petals, so not as thin. Um, do a cluster. I like to think of drawing a school of fish. They're all kind of randomly placed, but still tight together. And then you join all the flowers with thin curving stems and a whole bunch of tiny little leaves. Add more flowers sort of drooping this way and that and the whole thing can fill up as much or as little space as you like and that's why this is an illustration that I go to again and again. 
I'm going to place a quote on there, but let's come over to the right-hand side and we'll just sketch in our June calendar. I just work it out in pencil first, and then you know me, I take a fine liner, something like a 0.7 or 0.9 millimeter is usually good. I'm using the Mulatto Black Liners. All the supplies are linked in the description, and it's a great way to support the channel. Shop those Amazon links. You'll get the exact same supplies, and you support your favorite YouTube channel. And I'm just pulling that fine liner towards my body to give me a fairly straight grid. Easy, no rulers necessary. <laughs> Take a pink marker or some other complementary color, and we're just going to add a little bit of color to the calendar, plus the June title here at the bottom. And this is a great way to do bubble letters if you're not good at lettering. Just draw them with a thick marker and then do the outline. We'll add our quote on the left, letting go is hard, but being free is beautiful. And this is what it looks like. We've got that simple cover page and then the calendar and quote spread kind of all the colors sort of flow. I'm trying to keep everything really simple this month. I, I was thinking about how my journal has changed over the years and I still want things to be pretty, but I just don't have quite as much time to put into like the really complicated spreads. Such is life with a toddler. He's homesick right now with a fever as I record this. And so I would love to know, do you miss like the really complicated spreads? Sometimes we would do those dial calendars and stuff like that. Of course, I have years worth of YouTube videos. So if you ever want to go back and check those out, you know, a June spread from 2019 is just as useful now as it was a few years ago. But yeah, let me know. Do you like the kind of simple yet still, I hope, beautiful? Or do you miss the really complex? complicated like I'm thinking of stuff like the lilac we did with the butterfly and those dial calendars and stuff like that Anyway, speaking of a little bit more detailed, we're going to get into a pretty illustration that would be good for just about any journal layout, and mine will be a brain dump. So what I've done here is traced a circle. Then I start with a guide. I draw circles and ovals everywhere I want a flower to sit, and I focus them all along the bottom of the circle, along the curve, really. Then I sketch in those flowers, frame them with lots of leaves of different sizes, and the rest of the illustration I've taken right from that cover page a swan sitting on the water with the willow branches framing her from above and good news this week I've got double content for you over on patreon so every Friday I put out a YouTube video and when the video comes out there's always some bonus content that I give a worksheet or an extra video or in the case of the plan with me's I release a printable cover page for you to glue in your own journal and this week I've done that as well as this image as a coloring page now to become a patreon member it's only two dollars a month or you can pay twenty two dollars for the whole year it's a great way to support this channel and get extra for learning materials, but if you're thinking, I really can't afford it right now, Shada, I get that, and I have great news. There is now a free membership option over on Patreon. Go support this channel and become a member for free. At patreon.com slash Shada Campbell, free members get access to certain materials like this little swan coloring page. You'll get access to the monthly video schedule, and you'll be able to vote for what topics you want to see in next Next month's tutorials. Voting for video topics ensures that I'm making the content that you really want to see, that you really need. So please go become a free member so I can hear your voice and I'm making the sort of tutorials that are really helpful to you. Patreon.com slash Shada Campbell. Support this channel by becoming a free member. It doesn't have to cost you anything to make sure that these videos never stop. I always love me a graphic black and white illustration and this one is probably one of my all-time favorites. If you want to do something similar, all you need is a fine liner brush pen and that white gel pen. And then for the freebie on Patreon, which is free for everyone as long as you're a member, uh, I didn't color it in with the dark black because I wanted you to be able to decide. You can use it as a coloring page, you can do that really graphic dark black, or you can you know, get quite colorful with it, which I think would also be a nice option. Remember, with the Patreon printables, you can glue them right into your journal, or you can use graphite transfer paper and transfer and trace them in so that it looks like your very own work. And it is your own work. You're just getting a little help from your friend Shada. Uh, I'm writing brain dump at the bottom there, although this would be a great um, 
illustration for just about any type of layout. And how I use a brain dump is I give myself all these headers, like goals that I have around the house. For example, I want to finish Sally's playroom. Then under work goals, I have, I want to make a reel about finishing Sally's playroom. I also have a list of all the things I'm hunting for at the thrift store. Cause you know, when you walk in and you're like, what? was I looking for again? I'm always on the hunt for good baskets, nice frames, old lamps. I'll have some affirmations in there, video ideas that come to me. So anyways, that's how I use the brain dump. But your brain dump can and should function just however you want it to. It doesn't have to be this neat. <laughs> okay, let's flip over and we're going to do a weekly layout. And the first thing I want to do is fold the um, next page over and we're going to have a nice Dutch door right in the center of our weekly layout. This is one of my favorite ways to do a weekly layout because what I'm going to do is have two weeks worth of layout, one on each page, and that means that I'm setting up for basically half the month at, at one time, which is really great because you always think you're gonna have time to do the layout the next week, and then of course you don't. So I've got that Dutch door. I've given myself two long columns on the right-hand side, and that's going to find function um, as six days. So you can see me dividing them up. What I do is I just make the weekend one day so I combine Saturday and Sunday to give me an even number. And I'm just going over everything with a fine liner, pulling the pen towards my body to keep it steady so that I don't have to use a ruler. And it looks pretty good. I'll write the days of the week and the dates in there. We'll finish everything off with a bit of warm gray. What else? <laughs> And then I will do the exact same thing over on the left hand side, although that's a bit dull. I'm not going to show you that. The main thing here is that you get two weeks worth of layouts done whenever you do have a chance to sit down and do it. And you've got this nice Dutch door in the middle for placing uh, notes. I always have a lot of random goals that I don't want to place on any one single day. I just want to have weekly goals. Like at some point this week, I need to go buy mulch or whatever it is. And um, so that's why I like the Dutch door. I can put down a lot of thoughts and to-do list items and that sort of thing. Of course, if you have a little extra time, that Dutch door is a natural spot to put a cute little illustration. And I'm just pulling from all of the stuff we already did. That's the nice thing about a theme is that you kind of get comfortable drawing swans or whatever, and you just keep drawing them. <laughs> I didn't really love my color choice here. This like pink was just very pink in the end, but hey, a journal's where you try things out, take some risks. <laughs> Anywho, that brings me to the end of my June journal spread. I had a lot of fun with this one and I hope you did too. Remember, go and become a free Patreon member. You'll get access to the Swan Coloring page. You'll get to cast your vote for the June tutorial topics. And most importantly, you'll be part of a community. For me, this channel is always about building community, a community of adults that aren't afraid to get creative. And on Patreon, on, you can chat with me. You can post photos of your art and get feedback. It's just a happy, supportive place. And I know you're going to love it. So go sign up right now. And I will see you soon with a new tutorial.